A controversial Thursday driven primarily by one of the most outspoken presidents of all time. Hello everyone, Matt Thompson with you on afl.com.au. Of course, we're speaking about Jeff Kennett, who has taken to the airwaves today. He's not happy on a couple of fronts. First of all, prayer rooms, would you believe? It sounds relatively non-offensive. Uh, prayer rooms that AFL venues have been around for quite a while. Basher Hooley's been doing some publicity around them to promote the fact that they are indeed there for people of all faiths to go and pray if they want to on match day. But this is what Jeff Kennett's had to say on Melbourne Radio this morning. To put prayer rooms into sporting venues uh, is not part of the Australian uh, lexion. It's not the way in which we've behaved. I think it is an overreaction. I think it's political correctness. I think it's absolute rubbish and go Hawks. We are a game for everyone. We want people of different faiths, beliefs to come along to the game. It's one of the great things about our game. But the former Victorian Premier didn't stop there, flagging a merger between Melbourne and North Melbourne. I think, in the interests of both clubs, as we move to the end of this media contract, which is five years, we ought to be giving consideration to having a strong Melbourne brand, and I think that is a combination of the North Melbourne and the Melbourne Club. Both clubs not wanting to dignify those comments with a response. For the Kangaroos, everything's looking great. They've wiped a million dollars off their debt thanks to a concerted demolition campaign. And on the field, a trip to Sydney awaits. And no Adam Goods is really good news for Brad Scott. I'm sure Adam Goods checks the fixture every year to check when they play North Melbourne because he's, um, if he's out of form, we play him back into form. And if he's in great form, we put him into better form. So, um, look, obviously a huge loss for them. And he's a terrific player, a player we've struggled to counter in the past. So um, it's disappointing for them, but um, you know, we're, we're mildly elated. You come off the smile of your face, actually. <laughs> no, well, he's, he's, I mean, go back and have a look at the games that he's, that he's played against. He's just absolutely dominated against us. So um, it, it shortened our match committee by about an hour this morning. To St Kilda, a huge match for Saints fans, maybe more so than the players, as Dockers coach Ross Lyon returns to face his former club for the first time. Scott Waters doing everything he can to play that down. Same as last week, um, same as every round, you almost answer the same question. There's challenges get thrown at you, but it is a terrific opportunity to be playing Friday night. You know, we expect a good crowd. Do you feel a bit of a personal challenge coming against the pre predecessor? No. no the, the great thing about the game is players play, coaches coach. I'm, I'm more concerned about Aaron Sanderland, uh, number one ruckman in the competition, uh, Matty Pavlich, five or six times All-Australian. Valentine comes back, he's a great player. Maybe he's gone past Stephen Milne as the best small forward in the competition. That's a big call from Waters, isn't it? Perhaps diverting attention. On a serious note, though, both the AFL and Etihad Stadium confident that security arrangements will be able to cope with any kind of abuse that line cops from angry Saints fans at tomorrow night's match. Ross is a big boy. He's, 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 he, he, I'm sure he's aware that there'll be elements that might give him a hard time, but there's no doubt that he's uh, given an awful lot to St Kilda. I think most supporters would recognise that. I'm sure it's something that our ground operations staff will be uh, on top of. If they think there's any issue there, there's plenty of security staff to assist. And from two clubs, two elevated rookies. At the Bombers, 22-year-old Corey Delolio gets his chance as a replacement for the injured Brent Prismal. And at the Cats, it's 20-year-old Jesse Stringer, the midfielder elevated to the senior list in place of the injured Nathan Vardy. And that is our report this Thursday. AFL.com.au, of course, has all the team news for you tonight. Have a click around at some of the other great stories online as well. We'll talk to you soon.